Here's a local consumer review survey. 90% of consumers, look at this. I mean, this, this doesn't tell you the importance. 90% of consumers use the internet to find a local business in the past year with, with 30% 30, 30 looking every day. 82% of consumers read online reviews for local businesses with 52% of 18 to 50, 54 year olds saying they always read reviews. The average consumer reads 10 reviews before feeling able to trust a business. Like I said, I think it's higher than that now. Yes. Um, 53% of people would consider using a business with only 53 with less than a four star. If it's greater than a four star, it's 80%. And if it's less than three star, it's only, like I said, it's like 20 to 30%. Yeah, I wouldn't. If somebody's only got one or two stars, I wouldn't. Exactly. The average consumer spends 13 minutes and 45 seconds reading reviews before making a decision. Mm. Average consumers read reviews, 97% of review, uh, uh, read business reviews, uh, responses reviews. So it's not just, so it's not just the re reviews, it's, it's the responses that people read. Yes. Okay. Yes. And here's like, look at, I mean, this just goes on. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, how frequently to use the internet to find a local business. I mean, it breaks everything down. I mean, these stats are just mind boggling. Yeah. So yeah. I always read it. Like if, if I see somebody has got a bad review, I always read to see what the owner wrote, you know, yeah. whether they, whether they're passive aggressive, whether they're nice, whether they, how they dealt with the complaint, like, you know, like just to see what kind of people they are or what sort of business they are. I think most people will do that, won't they? <laughs> Absolutely. Because look, and, and, and it's, it's the nuances of it. And we actually coach and train our staff and, and to, to talk to our clients and teach them how to respond to reviews. Because it's yes. very important that the person feels heard, that you don't just, just brush over and say, nah, you, you know, you're totally wrong. Keep in mind, owners and tenants are going to be seeing your response. So if you're a pushover on a tenant and an owner sees that, they're going to be like, do I really want this company representing me? You see Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. In, in, yeah. other words, in other words, some of those tenant reviews that are bad for an owner, they might not look at that as being very bad. If you're no. holding up the owner's, yes. you know, if, if you're getting their social security deposit back and that person's yeah. mad because you actually did that, Yes. What the owner's going to look at that and be like, that's the company I want representing me. Like if it's like, you know, our job is to take care of the owner's property. And unfortunately, you know, you, you didn't do the right thing by the property and we had to take the deposit, you Absolutely. know, try to take it offline if you can, but yes. it's, you're right. It's how you respond to the reviews.